with Chambers County. It's been a blessing so far, so I'm excited about that, and I just can't wait to start seeing consumers, <laughs> which will happen in the middle of February. We host LaFette Day is our big part of our fundraiser for Hike Bike Fun. We host it in downtown LaFette. Um, this year it is on April the 11th. Um, it is, obviously that is the Easter weekend, so um, we're facing a unique set of challenges this year, um, but we are going to keep it that day. Um, I'll be coming to you guys later to ask for a proclamation recognizing the actual event. The reason for my uh, appearance here today is um, uh, every year you, uh, the commission has allowed us use of the courthouse uh, restroom facilities as part of the FET day, and uh, I would ask that, that we be able to do that again this year. Um, there is a, a little bit of a difference uh, this year that we, we would ask um, that we could open it up earlier. Um, we have not, we're not having the porta potties here this year, and so uh, the main restroom will be the one in the lobby, and so we're wondering if we could get the courthouse open a little earlier than usual. Um, Craig asked that I ask for 6 o'clock, um, but 6.30 would be okay. Um, we, as a, as a Lafette Day committee and as a board, would be willing to help in any way we can. If you need us to designate someone to oversee that, um, we can. Sheriff Lockhart is a member of our board, as is uh, Commissioner Bradford. Um, and if we need to assign someone from the committee to oversee that early morning activity, usually you guys have a security guard in there throughout the duration of the day. Um, but it would only be access for this restroom and the newer part of the, uh, the courthouse. Yeah, three large pipes, approximately six foot diameter piece, with a large amount of fill over the top of them that had a problem with one of the pipes where the road had a more or less a sinkhole in the road and required us to close it. Due to the weather and the nature of the repairs, it's taken us a pretty substantial amount of time based on what we would generally uh, assume to be a reasonable time to open a road. To, to make these repairs, the road's not open yet. We hope we can get it open tomorrow, and that's the update I have for y'all. Uh, Mother Nature's just been She's been difficult on us uh, since Christmas, so hopefully we'll get that open tomorrow, Commissioner Williams, if you'll pass that on to the residents up there, unless the rain moves in earlier tomorrow than we're yes. expecting. Uh, also, we had to close the road today, uh, County Road 58, south north of the Ridge Grove community. Uh, Mr. Jones, I believe it's in I believe it's in your district, the northern part of your district. So dirt road, real short road between County Road 57 and County Road 55. And I, I want to update y'all on this, mainly to, to express upon y'all the importance of a problem report work order system. So we had a problem report on Thursday. Uh, resident called in and said, hey, I drove across this bridge. Looked like there was a rough spot on the bridge. Can y'all take a look at it? Scene minor, you know, that, that was pretty much the extent of the problem that was called in or called in. We went out there today, inspected the bridge, followed up on it. Sure enough, there was a structural issue with the bridge, so we had to close it. So I tell you all that to say, you know, tell your constituents, call us. You know, don't ever assume we know. Uh, we have a lot of roads in our counties. We know we're not able to drive them all every day. If they see a problem, if it looks like something needs to be addressed, and it just concerns them, call us. We'll go look at it. You know, if it needs to be fixed, we'll put a work order in and we'll get it repaired as soon as possible. In this instance, it actually was a uh, problem that required us to, call, to close the road. We think we can get open pretty quick, the weather will cooperate. Uh, but it is something that we'll have to make a repair at the deck of the bridge. So I want to make y'all aware of that. Uh, County Road 58. <clears throat> a real short road. Uh, doesn't impact any houses. Uh, but again, another one of those roads that people, you know, sometimes may drive at night on a, on a, a road that's not paved. Y'all know how hard it is to see things when you encounter them, especially on a bridge deck. So it could have been a safety-related issue.